don't you, yeah, lean over and I'll, and I'll rub your shoulder a little bit. Hey, what's up you guys, Sharnus Prime here doing another Marvel Select review on the Marvel Select Colossus. This thing is incredible. Uh, really, really badass Marvel Select figure. And I don't know if you can tell or not, but he is standing on one foot over there. He is not leaning against the wall. See, he's not touching the, the back of that over there. Very, very cool figure. One of the best Marvel Selects that they've released. Just very awesome. He's full of articulation. The sculpt uh, paint detail is just great. The articulation is what really uh, sells me on the figure more than anything, though. It's just very He is big because he is a Marvel Select figure. So right off the bat, let's give a size comparison to the Series 5 Marvel Legends Colossus. And you can see how much taller he is there. Um, you know, just just to tell you, this is the, this is badass. But I still do like this one more. It just took a lot of thought for me to figure it out, and it's just because I do like the paint detail more. The face sculpt on this one I like more so than the Marvel Select version. This is just really really cool. But this guy has a cool face sculpt too, I just don't like it as much. One thing I don't really like about his face sculpt though is that, especially from afar, it kind of looks like he's got these pouty lips going... Paint apps are amazing. One really, really cool detail is that inside his eyes, they're painted white with blue going around the edge of the inside of the eye. I think that is a really cool detail right there. Like I said, the sculpt is very nice. Very cool paint apps, so you can see the color variation, especially in the wrinkled areas. He's got a glossy kind of red paint with gold around the belt, and that same kind of paints right here on the wristbands, which I think is very cool. This side is a little bit faded, but you can't really see so much on the camera. Uh, there is a little bit of a black shading going on, the silver skin parts. You could definitely see it over here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, a lot brighter silver color than the Marvel Legends one. There's a cool black shading on the red areas. It's a much brighter color figure compared to the Series 5. This looks very, very dark, which I like because it looks like he's been in battle for a while and everything. I don't really like how they sculpted, you know, this part of the legs that arc going upwards like that. I think this is a little bit cooler just going horizontal and... This has a little bit more of a blue tone in it, but I mean, still, this Marvel Select is very, very cool. The Series 5 uh, Colossus is pretty hard to get a hold of, so, you know, if you're in the market for a Colossus, you know, this is, you'll be happy getting this. It's very, very awesome, man. Just a cool figure. I really like it a lot. There's the back side. You can see some more cool shading detail. Just very mean, tall-looking figure. Um, here he is next to the Select Juggernaut, which they go very well together. Very, very cool. Can't tell which one I like more. I think I still may like this Juggernaut. You know, this may be more of better figure overall. And um, then I w also want to compare him to uh, like a regular size Marvel Legend. This is a custom in the works Invincible figure. <laughs> so I'll just show that off while I have that here. So I'm working on this Invincible custom. And this is basically the Quicksilver body. Um, here's a Series 3 Wolverine that does actually work out pretty well, I think. You know, if you could spread his legs out a little bit more, make him look a little bit shorter, that would fit into scale better. But just a great figure. Just very, very awesome. I just think he's really cool. Um, this this feature that he has where he could pop off the head. Ugh, pop off the head like that. I don't know if it's supposed to come off inside the head or at the neck. But you can actually remove this upper piece right here. And then you can get Colossus, you know, without the first half of his shirt. Which is kind of strange because his abs are still showing with the shirt on. It's a pain in the ass to get that there. But... Yeah, so you could see that. It still looks really cool, though. It's just very badass to see the, you know, just like this man of steel. <laughs> His articulation is very nice. His head does move up quite a bit. I like that a lot. Moves down very well. Moves side to side. So there's more head articulation in this than the Marvel Legends one. He has ball-jointed shoulders right here. And you can see a little bit of the paint kind of coming off. So that's kind of... A kind of sucks but it's a good solid ball joint he has bicep swivel single jointed elbow and his wrist moves side to side up and down 
and he has fists on both sides. He has a pretty decent diaphragm joint. Um, you know, as you guys, most of you guys know, it's not my favorite joint, but it does move pretty far forward, moves pretty far back, so it's really not too bad. Not too bad at all. Now, here's the trouble with these and with a lot of the selects is the ball jointed hips. Um, you can get him, so he, he can move outwards with his legs, and he can move forwards, but it's a bitch to kind of like spin this ball joint around, so it's like, like right now I can't get it to move forward, so you have to like apply pressure and kind of, like, I have this leg moving forward, but I can't get this one to do it at the moment, so you can see how that hinge right there, and the ball is set for forward, and this one's set for sideways. So you can spin them around, it's just a pain in the ass. He has the upper thigh swivel right there, which is great. Double jointed knees, got a little paint rub right there, so it is red underneath. I have some paint I could touch that up with. He's got a calf swivel right here. He has ankle fucking pivot! And his ankle moves up and down. And they did give peg holes at the bottom of the feet. Great thinking, guys. Man, this Marvel Select is badass, dude. Just really, really cool. He comes with this base right here, which is, you know, some people have been confused to what this is, but this is a Danger Room piece. It's like kind of coming out of the wall. So I've seen this on a couple of X-Men covers. And it's pretty nice. I like it. I like the shiny look. They have like this blackish kind of fade over the silver and these you know when you get it in the box these ugh, lower pieces are all, all off like that and it's got a little notch right there a little empty spot right there so you can just connect it you know it's not real rocket science but even here very nice detail very nice paint you know not too extravagant or anything but yeah very very cool figure I have to say, if you're a Marvel Legends fan, um, I don't know about it being a must-get if you already have the Series 5, but, shoot, man, if you want a really cool Colossus figure, get this guy. Very, very badass. Alright, well, that's my review. I hope you guys dig it, and I'll catch you later. Peace. Oh, that's... He is so awesome. But now what should I do on the internet? You go to BKBN.net! Here, let me show you, man! Big Kids Big News is number one source for geek news, reviews, toys, comics, movies, cartoons, video games, and more! Next time you're done watching my videos, where are you going? BKBN.net. Where are you going? BKBN.net. His articulation is. <coughs>